back to another video. I wanted to show you guys my going out makeup. I'm going out to dinner, so I figured this was the perfect time to just show you what I usually do when I want to wear a little bit more makeup than my everyday makeup. I just put these eye patches on. I got them from Target, but I let them sit for about 10 minutes, so I'm going to take them off now. I use this Luminous Silk Foundation and in shade 5. I do about two pumps and I rub it in on the back of my hand and just place it all over my face. Then I just blend it with this brush from OGEE. I really like this brush. It's very good at blending. Once that's blended in, I'm going to go in with concealer. I use Giorgio Armani concealer in shade 4. Now I'm going to go in with this Merit bronzing stick just to lighten up my face a bit. I put it on my cheeks and then a little bit on my forehead and a little on my nose just to sculpt it. To blend this, I use this brush from Amazon. I got a pack actually. It's called BS Mall. That's what it says on it. And I like to blend it up towards my hair. I switch off between using the Rare Beauty blush in shade Happy and this Makeup by Mario blush in shade Pale Petal. Tonight, because I'm going out to a nice dinner, I think I'm going to do a combination of both. I'm just going to put a little on my hand. And then I use this brush from IT Cosmetics and I just tap it onto my cheeks. And now I'm going to use the Rare Beauty blush. I'm going to, again, put a little on my hand. Like that much. And then, again, same thing tap it on but because I did cream products I'm gonna set it before I go in with my powder products this is Laura Mercier talc free powder so I love this one I've never had any issues but I just put this powder basically all over any of the makeup I've already done while I let the powder set on my face I'm gonna go in and start doing my eyes I have been loving this eyeshadow palette from Lancome. I think it's from Lancome. Yeah. And it's just neutral shades, which I love. I'm just going to do, I think, a light eye tonight. Nothing crazy, but I'm going to use this brown and mix this with the sparkly color. Just put this all over my eyelid. And then... I'm gonna do a little bit of this sparkle and just put it all over my lid. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this darker shade and put it in my corner eyelid, like right here, just a little to darken it up. And then to make sure it's all blended out, I'm gonna go in with this brush and just blend. Also, I'm not a makeup artist at all. Not even close, so I don't even know if this is correct on how you're supposed to do eyeshadow. So take this with a grain of salt. It's just what works for me. And then I like to do a darker eye, so I'm going to use this dark shade again and put it on my water line. I like to use eyeshadow as my eyeliner because I feel like it stays longer and doesn't smudge as much. After I put the eyeliner on my waterline, I use this liquid liner. It's actually brown. It kind of looks black, but it's a light brown. And I just like to put a little wing to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. I just like, it's subtle and not like a full wing, just like a little swoosh thing. I don't know if it even does anything or if it looks stupid, but I feel like it makes a difference. Okay, and then I think I'm going to top my eyes off with this Merit eyeshadow. It's kind of light, 
It almost looks like a highlight, but I'm just gonna put a little on the inner corner. Now I'm gonna use powder bronzer. I like to use this Hoola bronzer. I'm running low, as you can see, but I just put this right on my cheekbones, my forehead, and then my neck. After the bronzer, I'm gonna go in with powder blush. These are my two favorite blushes. They're from Armani Be Georgia Armani Beauty. I like to use this shade first. It's a little bit lighter. It's not as pink. And then I put this just on my cheeks, just a little bit. And then I follow it up with this more pink blush. And I put this more on the tops of my cheeks, kind of where I would put highlight. Then I'm going to set everything I've done so far with this e.l.f. Beauty. This works. I want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one setting spray, but this is really cheap. You can get it at Target, CVS, anywhere. Always remember to curl your, curl your lashes. It truly makes all the difference and just lifts your lashes. Then I'm going to add some highlighter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury highlight wand. I'm just going to put a little right here and then a little on my nose and then right here. For my brows, I use this NYX brow glue. I switch on and off from my eyebrow stuff, but this, I kind of just like throw it on my eyebrows just so it stays. And then I really love the applicator of this Merit eyebrow stuff, but I used all of it, but I really love the application. So I just go through with the NYX brow and fluff it up. I'm gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani mascara. And now I'm gonna do my lip liner. I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury in shade Pillow Talk. It, I will say, at first when I got it, I was skeptical because I didn't think it lasted. And, sorry, my boyfriend's showering if you can hear it. I wore this lip gloss, lip liner last night and it stayed on all night until I got home and washed my face. I saw Olivia Jade line her lips and she only overlines right here. So I'm gonna, that's what I did last night and it, I really liked it so I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna use this Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss. Okay, that's the finished makeup look. I need to go do my hair. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll show you my final makeup with my outfit and hair done. This is my final makeup. I just finished doing my hair and yeah. I'm gonna go out to dinner. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. This is my elevated makeup when I'm going out or going out to dinner, have a special occasion. So I hope you enjoyed.